Hi guys, Miss Ramped here. Oh my goodness, sorry, my camera work is terrible today. Okay, so um, as promised, this is your like, welcome back to school video. I'm gonna take you on a little walk around our classroom. We're gonna talk about some procedures and what some things are gonna look like. And then um, I'm gonna ask you guys to log into the virtual open house tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. So you should have already received an email, text, or um, phone message that gave you a link to that information. Also, um, I'm gonna be sending out on Infinite Campus. Hopefully I had some trouble with that today, but hopefully I'll be able to do it better tomorrow. And um, I'll send you out a link to our sixth grade Google site. Um, that has all of those helpful links and videos and things for you parents and students all to have access to in one spot. So um, again, keep, keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep looking down at my notes because I don't wanna forget anything. I know you guys have lots of questions and I have some answers, but I don't have all of them. So please be patient with me because we're all like figuring it out as we go. So item number one, our school day hours have changed a little bit for this year. So students will be in school Monday through Thursday. If they are um, in school that week, they'll be here from 8.40 in the morning until three o'clock when buses leave. On Fridays, they will only be here from 8.40 until 12.30, okay? Now the office is still gonna be available for you if you need to call um, the office to take care of something or if you need to get a hold of me, we will be available from eight to four in the office. Now. Um, teacher hours aren't actually until 8.30 to 4, um, so keep that in mind if you're looking for a teacher. All right, um, recesses. We have recesses going to look different this year. <laughs> um, breakfast and lunch will be served in the classroom. And so if you are in my homeroom, you will eat in here. So look, here's our classroom. Okay, you can see all of our tables, or there's my notes. <laughs> all of our tables are nicely spread out. Um, I have room to fit, I think it is um, 18 students in person daily if we need to, and there's a little bit of flexibility in that. So if I need to, I can make more room. Um, they're gonna eat their lunches in here, and then Miss Robeson and I will have a morning recess break where you guys can eat a snack. And I highly, highly recommend bringing a snack because our lunch time for you to eat is not until 12.45 this year. That's almost basically one o'clock by the time you get your food and sit down to eat. So parents, keep that in mind while you're going grocery shopping this week, especially if your kid is in cohort A, they're gonna need a snack. <laughs> Okay, um, anyways, then Miss Robeson and I will also take you out for a after you're done eating your lunch snack, okay, or, or not snack, recess. Man, this video is a hot mess. <laughs> Welcome back to school, kids. <laughs> okay, um, so office hours for teachers. So since we are on a hybrid learning schedule for most of you, um, as teachers trying to support you guys while you're also at home, in addition to the kids who are here at school, um, we are going to be pretty strict on keeping our office hours. So I will contact, I will make contact on um, Google Meet in the classroom um, from 9.15 to 9.30, Monday through Friday for those kids who are at home. Um, in addition to that, if by three o'clock, um, when all the other kids who were in the building have left, if you have yet to check in or do anything online, I'm going to be contacting you from three to three 30 again, Monday through Friday. So, uh, if you don't want to hear from me, um, get online and get going. And I promise I'll get you another video here in the next day or two to let you know how to do so. 
Um, now, in addition to um, the regular at-home learning, for those of you who are at home, um, I would love for you to log into our class meet to um, listen and, and participate in our class read aloud. So if you're in um, my homeroom class, then your read aloud time is gonna be during breakfast um, from 8.45 till about nine, maybe 9.10, 9.15, depending on the chapter we're reading that day. Um, and Miss Robeson's time is going to be again when you guys are while you guys are eating lunch. We're going to do that then too. So even if you're at home that week, um, okay. So that time was one fifteen to three o'clock. Okay. Um, even if you're at home that week, I think it'd be really kind of cool to just kind of have a, a lunchtime read aloud. Like think of it like your TV show that you're watching while you eat. Okay except for it's a book and it's me who's reading it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get a lot of information from us here in a relatively short amount of time. I don't wanna overload you guys. Um, we're really excited to see you. I will tell you a, a few things. Pathblazer is a requirement this year. In fact, there are very strict um, requirements for the amount of time every student is expected to spend on PathLaser. And um, in addition to that, we are gonna be offering you instruction here in class, in person, and instruction online through Google Classroom. So parents, don't worry. Um, if all you can get done is the two hours of PathLaser a day, then that's it that's fine. But I will tell you all that if you really want to enjoy your sixth grade year, I expect you to participate beyond Pathblazer. Okay. Um, and I'll get you more information as we unfold because um, Pathblazer is great. It's a wonderful tool for learning and it is definitely going to be a good portion of your grade this year. However, there is a lot of learning to be done outside of that platform. So we will be working on that together. All right. Um, when you're at home, you are going to have to log in to Infinite Campus to take attendance. Um, if you do not do so, again, I'm gonna have to be hounding you down. I know you don't want me to be hounding you down every day when you're at home, so. <laughs> Again, more information to come on how to do that properly. Um, hopefully you guys all got access to our school supply list. It did change about a week and a half ago or so. Um, Ms. Kasani has it in the office. There's some in the file folder or the file cabinet out front from the school. And um, I'm told it's posted on our school website. I'll make sure to go ahead and add it to our um, sixth grade website as well. Okay, I think that was the big chunk of what I'm supposed to talk to you about. <laughs> now I'm gonna kind of give you a little bit of a tour of our classroom and talk a little bit about some of the things that are gonna be different this year compared to most. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera around Sorry for my shaky hand. I, like I said in another video, oh, I can't flip my camera, darn it. Okay, hopefully I can do this without it. So, um, okay, um, this right here, you, so when you look at our classroom, you can see um, tables, okay? I do not have desks in my classroom. And then if you are paying close attention, hopefully my camera work is, shoddy. Um, you can see the crates, okay? So the way I plan to run my classroom is that every child is going to have a specific um, table where they will be assigned to sit for each week that they are here in the classroom. And then um, during that week, they will have a crate, one of these crates, okay? And that crate is going to be them for there's to put all their stuff in. You're gonna put your water bottles, your lunch, your snack, all your classroom supplies, um, your book box, everything will stay in your crate for the week. 
Then come Friday, I'm gonna teach um, the kids to put their book box over here. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet if it's gonna be on the counter like this or in a cubby like this but um, they will then put their book box in one of those designated spots and it will stay there for the week while they were gone. And then the next group of kids, when they come, they will come in, they will get their assigned seat, they will take out their crate, I will give them their book box, and then we start the whole thing over again, okay? So um, if you are sending any sanitary supplies like hand sanitizer or, um, like I said, water bottles, pencil boxes, notebooks, all those things, they're gonna stay in the crate. Um, that way we can keep everyone's stuff with themselves and try to minimize the spread of germs. Now, um, I teach ELA and you cannot have an ELA classroom without books, right? So this is um, half of our classroom library. The other half actually has been moved into Miss Robson's room because instead of teachers or the kids trading this year, the teachers are gonna trade spots halfway through the day. So you're still gonna have myself and Mrs. Robson, but um, you, you as a child are not gonna move rooms, okay? Um, now, you're gonna pick some books every week and you're gonna read those books until you're done with them, hopefully. But um, when you're done with them, you're gonna have to have a spot where you can put them where other kids won't like get them when they still have your germs on them. So this is going to be our quarantine book cart. So my plan as of today <laughs> is that um, when the kids um, return their books on Friday, um, this cart of books will sit with those books for a week. And I do have some extra crates that are similar to the ones that your students will be using for their things. And um, in those crates, I will take the books from our quarantine cart and put them in that crate and they will sit in book quarantine for a week so that there is no transfer of germs in that way. Um, in addition to that, before any kids go into the library to even touch any books, we're gonna be washing our hands or using sanitizer. And then as soon as they're done, they're again going to wash their hands or sanitize because we want to stay healthy. Okay, I think that is pretty much all the answers I have for you as of today. Um, I seem to be getting more answers on a daily basis. So if you have any other questions um, beyond this, or if you just wanna pop in and say hi, please, please, please come to our virtual open house that we're going to be holding on Thursday. It is from 4 to 6 p.m. So by the time you get this video, it will be tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. And I will be sending you out another link today with this video so that you have access to how to log in. All right, I hope to see you then. And... I hope to have more answers for you then. And I just am really excited to be with your kids this year and to be learning with you guys. And I know it's a lot right now, but I promise we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna get through it and we're gonna be stronger because of it. So see you later.